test, test, test. You're not on, and you are on now. On. Music is not, not on, no, and yeah, <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Woo, I am that I am. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's commend Baxter on tonight's image, my God. This is like a portal. Yeah, you like that? This yeah. is a two-tree portal. Yeah, I feel like I got kind of lucky with that one. And I want to say uh, about these this two was trees. A, I wanna, oh, well, before we go on, I just want to say something about... Uh, this image, this is, uh, you uh -huh. can see down at the bottom, it, this is by Kurt Spencer. Mm -hmm. uh, I have been finding a lot of AI art mm -hmm. on uh, on this site called, oh, huh, mm. that's weird, on a site called uh, Deviant Art, uh, which has a, maybe a bad name, but it's an mm -hmm. AI site, and I've been watching it, and I've been trying to give credit to these artists. Um, this... I mean, I did a little bit of trickery with this, but for the most part, this is the, well, this is the image. This is what Kurt Spencer came up with. That's his image. I did a little bit of trickery to get the words behind it and all that sort of stuff. But, um, and I want to show you mm -hmm. something that I've been working on. Let's see if I can find it. Cool. Okay, there we are. Is okay. that what you're showing me? Now watch, just, just wait, just wait, watch this. Uh, oh, wait. Never mind. Hold on. Did I miss something? Yeah, you missed it. You missed it. I did. You blinked. Was it a? Was it a? Oh. No, but watch this. Oh, okay. Now watch. Hey. Is that not cool? <laughs> We're next level, y'all. <laughs> Check it out, Flow Kitchen. Does Ooh, that look? That look better. I don't want to be orange. Yeah. Definitely never. I never, never want to be orange. Never I hope orange. you don't ever want to be orange. All right. Let's see what this would look like if I. Um, let's see. Boom. Huh. Yeah, that's we're down. Yeah, you're bringing us down. That's not B. what I want. Yeah, yeah. Well, All wait. Right. I, got okay, I, got I got it. 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 Here this we is go. Yellow. What? Is that better? Dang. Okay, no, no. Like let's go. We're, gonna just, we're gonna just gonna do it the same way. We're <laughs> just gonna keep it the same way. All right. I want to say something about the image though, because it's it's really striking me at a heart level because this is very close to the what I originally envisioned as the two trees when I first heard the legend of Anna. And I envisioned that landscape, and I saw that sunrise coming up of her first day when she saw them, and how big and beautiful and and motherly they were because they were going to take care of her. It's such a beautiful image. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, really, um, the this image really is um, so perfect. Mm -hmm. I just found it today on a whim, but it really is just so perfect for the story of Anna because, uh, of course, in the story of Anna, these two trees would be a lot bigger but you can just def definitely see how uh, you can imagine their roots are connected underneath their branches are obviously connected before and this like this image shows even though it's just total coincidence the two trees for Anna was a portal like the, it was a desert that led up to these two trees so behind the woman that you imagine is looking through them right now there is a desert and then ahead of her uh, we start to get vegetation or green again so uh, that's a little insight and i just that. noticed that my hoops i had placed my hoops in that in that view they were right over the portal yeah um all right so um <coughs> let's see oh i'm not getting comments <coughs> oh yeah where did our comments go uh, hopefully we can do the comments right this time yeah we're gonna get comments okay. we're gonna do it right now we're gonna do it right now I want you to be able to see them. Who's a fan of, of early 80s hits huh. or, or obscure B-side hits? Huh. Drop your favorites in the comments, please. Your favorite. I see what I did wrong. Obscure or B-side 80s track. Yeah, okay, let me see. I should actually say what mine is. What is mine? All right, I will say that go. I was very fond of the Greg Ken band. If anybody remembers them. Um, okay. Okay. Anytime to close this, redo all messages. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Yeah. So anyway, I think I got it fixed, though. We're I back. appreciate it. We have a little bit of a background that I wish I didn't have, but uh, we're fine. Four, uh, it's 4 p.m. I don't want to lose any more viewers to this. Uh, so two trees uh, for what we're doing is, is separating the two bodies. I'm going to talk a little bit about this um, during Sway. Uh, which I have 
load it up. Um, but two trees is essentially splitting the body into two sides. So two tree classes, as you like the way that I usually um, do them. Uh, two tree classes are usually uh, movement based classes where we're working on like they're kind of um, sort of um, not like technique -y in the sense that they're technique -y related to your body uh, more than the actual technique that we're doing. Uh, so anyway, I'll explain all this in a second. I want to go ahead and get started. I'm in a good mood. Everything is great. I hope you guys are doing okay. Obscure. Lord with the deep cut. This is like definitely one of my favorites. I adore Culture Club and Boy Church George. Church of the Poisoned Mind. That one, you should play that one at the end, Will. Yeah, maybe I'll try. Please I'll do. Try. It's like a really fun. It's very upbeat. You okay. know, very dancey and bouncy. I think this is the song I want. We love it. Oh, we love the 80s. Ooh, ooh. I, I hope this is the song I want. I think it is. We'll see. Audible breath in. like the idea of the two trees and the two birds. Because birds have to keep moving to stay alive and trees obviously have to stay still to stay alive. see something from thousands and thousands of angles. A, tr a tree sees things from thousands of sunsets and sunrises. So in my Dan thinking, philosophy, those two natures were in your movement. Within your movement was a nature to move, and within your movement there was a nature to be still. Audible breath in. Tonight we're imagining our body as two trees. You have a right side tree and a left side tree. In the Maidan myth, they told the story that the two trees that Anna had found had a mythic beginning that they were two sisters that had perished at the same time and come back as two trees. Those sisters weren't the same age and there was a big sister and there was a little sister. The big sister would be your dominant side. The little sister would be your non-dominant side.
my little sister tree is my left side. But if you had two little girls in your care, one older than the other, you wouldn't want to refer to the little sister as the little sister over and over again. Audible breath in. You'd want to give her a name. Same as the big sister. Audible breath in. Tonight's class is about changing how we see or enforcing, if you already do, how you see both sides of the body. Dominant and non-dominant makes sense. It's the vernacular, but it kind of limits us in a way. breath in. We're going to do a couple, about another minute of guided movement. And one thing that can be very illuminating before we pick up our hoops is to breathe into that little sister side of yourself, that little sister body, like my, for me, my left side is my little sister tree. By breathing into it, I mean I'm bringing my awareness to it. And for me, immediately moving my non-dominant side, my little sister side, feels different. It feels better. It feels less clumsy when I bring my awareness to it. I'm not telling it what to do, I'm just aware of what it is doing. Audible breath in. like you're ready for that sway to be over. All right. Um, should I do something that'll let you kill a little bit more time down there? <laughs> well, uh, you can stay down there if you want. We'll, uh, I'm going to do a, uh, I'm going to do one more slow song, but in point. And so tonight I want to, the no. vibe tonight. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Do you want to say something? I'm coming back. I'm coming back. <laughs> Okay. I'm crawling back to join you. <laughs> okay, so tonight is going to be all about um, sort of activating this left side or this, or well, not left. I keep saying left. That's for me. But mm -hmm. this um, little sister side, this non-dominant side mm -hmm. of your body and waking that up because that, oh, wow, Amber, hey. long time no see. Sweet. Hey. Everybody, and welcome Amanda, Amber back. Welcome back from yeah, the sweet. as well. Okay. Um, Girls are back. Back in so, town. So um, we're going to start um, by being quite literal. I'm going to bring some super chill music back. Nice. And you can roll around the floor and skip this uh, part if you want to. No, I'm going to rejoin. I just was having a really good stretch in my hip going, so I didn't want to interrupt it while you were talking. I just sort of continued sure. it a little bit.
Okay, there we go. Uh, I am, but you don't have to. No, what I invite you to do is we're going to stay with this non-dominant side of the body, this little sister side. I'm holding the hoop on that side of my body. My little sister hand is holding the hoop. And for the next three minutes of sweat of point technique, we're going to put our whole focus and awareness, they're two thing, different things, on our little sister tree. For instance, I'm holding the hoop with my left arm. I've got my left foot in the air. So the star of the show for the next three minutes is going to be our non-dominant side of the body. I'm going to keep moving my big sister tree, but the star is the left side of my body, or in this case, well, whichever your little sister is on. Audible breath in. For me, and I can't say this any more earnestly, one of the greatest gifts that hoop flow has given me is the non-dominant side of my body. It's not about how well I flow with a hoop, it's just it has changed the way I feel embodied. Since hooping, I climb steps differently. I lift things differently. I catch myself more quickly. I balance myself more quickly. And so when we talk about moving your non-dominant side, let me be a testimonial to it. From a hooper from 2001, this flow toy is doing a lot more than just getting us views. Audible breath in. at how much your non-dominant hand, your non-dominant side of the body can actually do. And you realize that your big sister tree has been a little overbearing at times. She's always wanted to do it. But giving little sis a chance gives her voice and brings her in. Audible breath in. Do you have anything you want to um, say? 
I just keep getting more and more into stretching. I'm just probably going to talk about stretching every class. Oh, wait, what happened? Stretching. <laughs> Did the hoop get knocked? I think. Did what? I think maybe you're uh, mic. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, knocked. maybe I just did that just now, probably. It's okay. Oh, and I was wondering what retreat Lauren went to. Mm. Where they were mm. canceled hooping classes, but at least they were on the schedule to begin with. And uh. I'm wondering if Brecken taught the groundwork hoop class. Because um. she was at Kindle. Okay. All right. Um, all right. I'm on the stretch train. What about you, Bob? We are going to connect the last three classes uh, with this next exercise, and then this will probably be the last time we hit on this in the same way. But while we're splitting the body, uh, we're going to go ahead and split the hands. So that the tree is the arm. So the birds start at the wrist. Not that there's like a serious, you <laughs> know. <laughs> Not that anybody's <laughs> going around This is just metaphor, this. right? It doesn't no matter like where anything. exactly. Um, but you can imagine, you know, like if you're looking at a tree, birds would probably be on the outside. Um, <laughs> But anyway, so to to isolate a tree is to move one arm as well. So your arm is part of a tree. That's kind of like where paddles come from. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're going to work on s uh, stick with activating our left arm. And we're go what we're going to do to do it is, I know I always tell you to use both arms. Tonight we're just going to use only your little sister tree um, while you uh, uh, tear a... I don't know her. You do? I hope I get to Wildfire know her. Wildfire in Connecticut. Okay. Her. So but thank use you. only your left hand to weave, and I'll sort of guide you, but basically you can, this will be sort of self guided. Um, so we're keeping the dominant hand behind our back if we can? Yeah, or just, just you're going to, you, know, you, all right, you don't need to keep way. it behind your back, but okay. I, you know, I want to just try to do that like though. almost give a solo to your uh, non dominant hand, your little sister hand. Cool. All right. Let's, I think this will be a good one for it. Uh, no, this is the one I wanted. I think. Yeah, this is it. Oh, wait. I'm so happy that I have this stuff fixed. Now. There we go. I, whatever I do, what I'm doing doesn't really matter. When I said we were going to connect it uh, to the stuff we've been working on, weaves for me is an obvious place to start, and we've been doing a lot of those lately. Oh, I like that. One, two, okay. So I'm using my left hand pretty much right now. That's my uh, little sister hand, but you would use whatever you want. The current doesn't matter. The move really doesn't matter. You know, but I invite you to do something that is an easy circuit to complete so that you can just kind of let your arm warm up and, and do the thing. And by circuit, I just mean like a weave is, is really obvious that you're doing the same thing over and over again. And to answer Anne's good question, uh, no, I'm not thinking you need to keep your hand. Some people just like to. Uh, Rich Porter was a guy that just liked to keep his hand back here. Anne says she likes the feeling of it because it stretches out the front of her shoulder. So whatever you want to do with that other hand doesn't matter. And then if you start to get tired of a weave or just when I feel something different, I can like isolate with my little sister hand. But I kind of want it to get tired. So when it does get tired, if it gets too tired, it starts to get like get sore, I'll switch to the other hand. But for the most part, for me, I want to keep it for this whole song on this hand. It's almost like I, I want it to fatigue. Because I want it to get a workout, right? I want it to wake up tomorrow feel good about itself.
Anne says that the weaving is working really well for her. You can do, you know, tosses to yourself here. One arm. You try some point uh, isolations. Just <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it'll be a good sewer. Yeah? Nice. Well, that's a little fun. Hot point hops. Before I was hooping, I could not do shit with my left hand. <laughs> I could draw okay with it, sort of, like when they ask us to draw with our non-dominant hand, but... Alright. Alright, we switched into a new song, and I don't want to wear, wear out everybody's... And I feel like you had a good uh, little experience of that. Do you want to say anything? Oh, yeah. I was refreshed <laughs> in my belief that I really like to use one arm and hold the other. My, my dominant arm, I really do have a hard time resting it. And that's how, honestly, Bob, why I do all that rolling on the wooden dowel. Because I really, this is really good for me to just, because also that completely relaxes your arm when you can kind of rest it. I'm just showing people. Like, you don't have to hold it like here like a fist. Like, you can just kind of rest it. And then you get this really good stretch, like here, which for a lot of people is overworked. That's my recommendation. Yeah. Thank hey, you. wait, wait. Hey, um, wait, wait, what? Okay, wait a second. Wait, I want to see. If wait. Wait. No, okay, I can't, can't find it yet. <laughs> yeah. We've lost it. There we go. Okay. So you then show it. Show where you had your hand. Here we go. So it's like a nice, yeah, it's just this, it's relaxed, but then you can move the, if, also if it's like, <laughs> geez, Louise, Bob. I got to give you a chance to use my are. new the technique here. We got it. There we yeah, go. Yeah, he's a zoomer. <laughs> he's not a boomer. He's a zoomer. Stop. I'm definitely not. I am not a boomer. <laughs> We're Gen X My dad's anyway. a boomer. We're better than all y'all. No. <laughs> Gen X. Stop. Um, all right, let's get back to class. Uh, I want to keep. Going. Uh, anyway, that was a blast. Okay. Let's go back to our non-dominant hands here. Which one was I going to do? I think it was this one. Okay, that's fine. All right. All right wait, I, I feel like we still have two musics going. We do have two musics going. Okay. All right. There we go. Let's let's go with one music. Wow. Sorry. I wonder how long that was going on. <sighs> Afraid on a greater range of motion all over the little sister tree. Sweet. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so we're gonna uh, we're gonna activate the two sides of the hands by using the trees but we're going to try to or by using the hands but we're also going to try to use the legs and so the technique that i'm going to invite you to do uh, actually let me let me pause the technique i'm going to invite you to do would be some kind of like 
um, warrior so that where it's not going to be really hard to pull off the technique so that you can focus more on the movement technique um, but what I'm going to try to do is uh, maybe keep both hands on the hoop I'm guessing and then think about moving both of my hands and so this exercise is called two bird two tree but we're going to do it in kind of a point warrior foldy kind of way the two bird part means that I'm going to be aware of my hands and I'm going to try to be like moving them Okay, now how I move them, it doesn't need to be styled at all. Just think of this like a yoga stretch and not like you're trying to, you know, impress yourself or even anyone, but you're just trying to, you're trying to like literally build up a connection that there's no way you have words for between your two hands, right? So just moving them like crazy and using your hoop to kind of connect them. Then the two tree part is that I'm going to, the whole time I'm going to be moving both sides of my feet. And that will be, that's where you can see the difference in awareness and focus. I'm going to focus on moving my feet. That means my focus is going towards that action and is going to try to keep putting me back on that action. The awareness part will be how does, what is the result of that action feel like? What is it, what is it like in that action? That's awareness, right? Okay, so let's try it with music. I like the way this song builds, so let's just start it over. Thank you, Carla. Yeah, yeah let me know if you guys, uh, if the music is ever too loud, not loud enough, or same for my mic. To be clear, we're going for two bird, two tree, and we're going to keep this awareness moving through our little sister's side. I'm inviting you to keep both hands on the hoop because it's a cool way to kind of connect your, the two halves of your body. Of course you can let go. There's no rules in hooping or hoop half. And then my feet are just going to move, and I'm just going to make them move right now. I don't really care if they're in rhythm. I don't care what they look like. Dominant little sister. If you get lost, just go back there. Just name that side of the body and say it over in your head. left side is activated right now. Let my fingers feel quicker. You can feel like, um, you can feel like a big difference. Like if I squeeze my hand, if I'm pushing like as if, if I didn't have any grip that my hands are coming together, if I push against them and then do this stall, that feels one kind of way. And then if I pull back, like I'm gonna like try to go back that way. If I pull back, so my hands aren't moving at all. This is what, if they're pulling away from each other, and same isolation. And it feels totally different than this isolation where I'm pushing into each hand.
Yeah. I actually really like that song. Oh, I don't know why I said actually. Like, I'm surprised I like a song I picked out. Uh, <laughs> no shock there. Yeah. Um, no. But, uh, that's Earth Cry. He's the nicest dude. Um, oh, really? Who was that? Oh, he's in the... He's in a super popular jam band called Papadocia. Oh, yeah. They sell out shows everywhere. Mm -hmm. But his, he's got an electronic music <laughs> project called Earth Cry that he kind of does on the side. And Earth uh, Pride? Earth Cry. Cry. Like the cry. cry. Cool. Uh, anyway, I'll post the playlist later. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, do you have any... Uh, you Oh, do you want to do your exercise now? Yeah. Do you remember that? Well, I do just had an idea. I don't do know if I had an exercise, but I had an idea. What's that? But I'll talk about it. Yeah. Do you want to do it now? Do. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, but I did want to say about that one that I like the, you know, the firm frame as usual was helping me bring, you know, really keeping my both hands on the hoop and trying to use each leg, at least one leg at a time, you know, or every time I was moving the hoop, trying to match that with one or the other leg was a really great challenge. Leading to <coughs> this yeah. next concept, yeah. which is related, about, do you want to talk about it? Uh, I mean, I can, I, I'm happy to do it, but... I'll just introduce I the idea, and then you, you can want to. add okay. to it. Okay. Yeah, it was your, your kind of idea, I thought. I, well, I was thinking about how good it feels nowadays that my hips are getting more open to lift up the knees really high, and I thought this class, this two-tree class, being about, you know, the separation of the sides of the body... Because that's something we can, you know, we can just, again, overuse and underuse <coughs> our big sister and our little little sister sides, not only the arms, but also the legs. And that also goes for, you know, lifting, lifting the knees and sort of lifting the legs because we have all these hip muscles that maybe we've overused on one side but underused on the other. Okay, I've got... Lifting the knees, sorry. What? No, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, just lifting, no, no. Kind, kind of thinking about, I was realizing that a good exercise would be to lift the knees and kind of try to move... The knees while lifted in a kind of a tracing, maybe. Okay. As a tracing uh, concept. All right. All right. So, uh, I think we can kind of do all that, but within this other idea. So, um, <coughs> we'll I think with the, I think this song will work for this, but even if the song isn't perfect for this, we can still do it. Um, so I call this kind of uh, moonwalking slash uh, deep sea walking. <laughs> but the idea is that it feels a little bit um, different to you. And so in this exercise, you're kind of, it's a sort of a slow flow type technique, although it doesn't have to be, but you're sort of imagining these big over exaggerated steps because of, you know, a sort of gravity that feels different. And then you uh, are invited to, when you achieve these balances, to do what Anne was talking about, which is basically like drawing. So to take advantage of the fact that one foot is not bearing weight at all, you know, and it can carry like a lot of expression, you know, in the absence of having as much like, you know, structural function. All right, so we'll try some music. I think I've got a good song picked out for this. I think this will work. I wanted to use new to me music tonight and yeah, I, I just, you know, is this true? Like, if you don't know a song, you kind of move to it a little bit more naturally sometimes. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, what this could look like. So this could be the fast version. I'm holding the hoop in my non-dominant, my little sister hand. This actually is perfect for this. <laughs> Looks like the music isn't loud enough tonight. Headphone warning. Yeah, there it goes. Sorry about that, y'all. I think I had it down too low. I think 
I guess it really shouldn't be surprising, but one of the things I learned was that my non-dominant, my little sister leg, was pretty much just as articulate as my uh, dominant side. For instance, when I wanted to draw with my left foot, it wasn't certainly wasn't as alien as trying to throw something with my left arm. And of course that makes sense, but it was nonetheless like a revelation for me. Now I'm moving into kind of a super slow flow with this. to have a very big hoop space or if you're used you can only hoop outside these type of movements that Anna and I are doing right now can be done in tight spaces and my heart rate is up I don't know if y'all this but my heart rate is up right now I am definitely especially like the more I bend at the knee the more I twist and I realize it's not the same thing as just going off in wide open space, but it can be one way to deepen your flow, to stay connected to your practice. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I like these contact rolls across the leg. Of course, the camera's not on here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right? I think this is awesome. Do you like this? I, I kind of like that we're on, both on now, you know? <laughs> hey, Chop. <laughs> it's almost creepy, though. <laughs> What's creepy for me is looking over at Baxter in real life when I'm looking at us both on the screen at the same time. That's what's creepy for me. Oh, right. Just sharing. Just a little sharing. All right. Well, I think they got the idea of that exercise. We, can, we have time to squeeze one more in before Yeah, I definitely uh, was feeling break. that. It was feeling more open. Just doing a whole song of lifting the knees. and sh Lifting and shifting, I guess you could call it. Lifting and shifting the knees. And coined a phrase. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lifting and shifting is perfect. Hey, I'm a poet. Yeah. In this case, I did know it, but. Yeah. Okay. Copyright. All right. So. Yeah. What is it? September you're gonna steal this. 20. No. You only 18? have three hours to steal lifting and shifting until this Finish goes live. <laughs> <laughs> um, We're almost at the solstice, though. Oh, yeah? Are we? Wait. So yeah. 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 Oh, uh, yeah. No, okay, equinox. Sorry? Excuse me, not solstice, equinox. The yeah. autumnal equinox. Speaking of two trees and the yin-yang and the balance and the autumnal, autumnality of right now. <laughs> Is that Max, a word? Yeah, you came with me. I appreciate it. You <laughs> yeah, just yeah, jumped yeah. and came with me. <laughs> 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 Anne's on a roll tonight. <laughs> All right, this is uh, <laughs> something... Um, I, I do want to try a little uh, core hooping. Uh, and I'm going to do shoulders. You could do anything you want to because core hooping is where your little sister tree really, really can show up a lot more. And since we've been warming it up, uh, we can finish with maybe two songs of this and then squeeze in a song or two for free hoop. So let's try a little... Uh let's see if this would be good. 
Yeah, this will work. Um, all right. So basically, all you have to do to do this exercise is core hoop and do what we've been doing all night and feel your little sister side, like all the way from the head, even this side of your side of your, <laughs> side of your face. Um, just you know, right down the meridian. Your meridian is where these two trees come together, and and you can play with. All right, so where they come together, you can play. Uh, with that space and you can push that space apart and you get really big chested. You can bring that space in and get kind of tight. And so the little tree, uh, the trees are only connected by virtue of like their limbs being tangled up, but they can separate and that can change all these different types of feels in your core hooping. So we'll bring the music back up. I'll start it over just and we'll go. If you struggle with shoulder hooping, I cannot recommend enough focusing on your non -dom your little sister side. I keep saying non-dominant because I want people to know what I'm talking about, but your little sister side. Because a lot of times what it is is your little sister side is not doing anything, and that's why you get this like sort of wonky. Is this fast enough? Do you think this is fast enough? <laughs> yeah it, it, wow okay i asked ann if she thought the song was fast enough for this and she uh emphatically did not um i spoke the truth no one will be surprised by that yeah all right let's try something a lot faster because then we'll get we'll just we'll just get this out of the way and we'll get a nice uh good workout going So I'm up here at the shoulders and or the waist, wherever I want to be, and I'm just going to focus. I'm going to breathe into that left side of my body or to that non-dominant side, that little sister side, and that's all I'm going to do. And just by doing that, I think you'll see that your movement inside the hoop will change.
really helps me to close my eyes, this kind of exercise. It helps me just remember to just, you know, I just keep my, that rolling ping pong ball inside of me. I just keep it on one side of me, I just keep it on the left. I'm glad you guys like that song, and um, we'll just roll into a uh, free hoop since we're basically at the end of class now. These are all new songs, so I'm not exactly sure what the perfect... Do you want to say anything, Ann, before I we... Uh, wear my sunglasses at night, so oh, I shucks. can't... Just chiming in with Shelly here. No, 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 no. That was beautiful. I'm I didn't mean to switch to me. I, I, I meant to switch to you. In life, I'm having an 80s moment in life, as everybody now knows. So thank you, Shelly, for bringing that unexpected little <laughs> extra piece of the 80s into our night together. Uh, what was the song that you wanted me to play? Church of the Poison Mind. Okay. I don't with know. our boy, Boy George. All right, let's see if I can find it. Uh, and company. All right. My the Club of Culture. My music search 80s culture. function. That's our club. Church of what? The Church po of the poison, Poisoned Mind. So many churches, aren't they? Churches hey, of the Poisoned Mind. Hey, 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 let's... Uh, Zop, I'm just saying, not all churches. I mean, that's terrible. That's not what I mean. My dad is a minister, dude. I know, Bob, but I'm saying not him. Not including Baxter's dad. There's lots of Churches of the Poisoned Mind. Okay, let's try it. Uh, I'm just going to play the first result. Let's see what happens here. All right. Oh, let me make sure we don't have two musics going. We do not. And why are we not hearing? Okay, here we go. All right, thanks for the request. By request, music tonight. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> of course.
don't hear enough harmonica anymore, do you? Yes, is week. all I can say. Yes. <laughs> that was it. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll play. We'll go back to something more chill, I guess. Oh, yeah, this is just the same track. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just go back to something else, and then we'll call it a, yeah, we'll do, a, we'll do like a track or Spend two. Ballet. It's right at 8 o'clock, so thank you guys. Thank you, Anne. I'll be back, thank at you. least me, will be back on Saturday. I'll be here Saturday. Yeah, so I will be here this Saturday. Uh, we will not be having class the Saturday after that. Yep. So this will be our but last. Tuesday after that, we are having class, right? Yeah, totally. Yep. Cool. Yeah. week from today. So we're just going to miss one Saturday class. It's going to be uh, the 29th or something like that. Uh, sweet. <laughs> Great finish. Sweet. All right, let's play something cool and let you guys cool down or hang out or say goodbye to each other. Uh -oh. Balanced Bird. Never heard this one. Let's check it out, see what it's like. All right, another new track. Yeah. So the 30th. Okay. <laughs> hey, Joanna. <laughs> going to swoop? Is that right? Wow. Nice. Please give Emma our love. Emma Kenna.
it's on the other side. <sighs> All right, y'all. Thank you very much. Um, and anything you want to say for the last time before we fade to green here? No, thank you. Love y'all. <laughs> so fun to dance again. <laughs> Pack me in your suitcase, of course. I think we all want to get in. It'll be a Pack big us suitcase. away. Take us to swoop. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great night. <laughs>